What do we do as mobile journalists? We do exactly what we've been doing as journalists all our lives. As journalists, we research, we write, we record... Visual. Normally, his courses last for three days, but today, Australian TV producer Ivo Burham is having a three-hour workshop and teaching a way how to be a video journalist by only using your cell phone. Uh, we, we, journalism schools are just starting to teach mobile curriculum, just now, and they're actually embracing it wholeheartedly three years too late, but at least they're doing it. It's important for journalists to learn how to mojo uh, because I think every journalist has a mobile phone, a smartphone, and they need to learn to use the smartphone beyond just sending emails and texts and making calls. They need to learn to use it as a new digital pen. Interview. Close up, close up, wide shot, no interview. Evo is showing the crowd how to shoot in different angles and how to do an interview with the phone. They are also given the task to record themselves. I think there is a place for it in this fast-changing uh, world of journalism now, and I know I know I'll be using it because I've had to do some already. But um, I would hate to think it was the only way because quality goes. And when you're worrying about all the technical stuff, you don't have time to get all the news. And I've always found that a problem. We're a group of journalists learning to tell digital stories. This is the iMovie app. And eventually, the editing helps them to finish their stories. Get rid of that, delete. Okay. Who has done that? What I talk about is a quality way of using mobile phones. Mobile phones can be used willy-nilly, or they can be used in a quality way with digital literacy. I think technology is one thing, but the technique or the technique behind the mobile phone, behind the technology, is really important. So the focus is story, story, story. So do you see a day when this kind of journalism with smartphones, etc., will replace big cameras? Look, that's a big question. Will mobiles replace big cameras is a big question. But uh, the New York Times is today scoping a mobile-only newsroom. So only time will tell. But yes. <laughs> <laughs>